so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video so as you can guess from the title today we're going to talk about shopping in paris and more specifically where we shop in paris what are the best shopping spots and most importantly how to shop in paris in a way that saves you the most money possible so if you're new on this channel hi my name is nora i am an expat living in paris i have been living in paris for the past three years now and i like to make videos about my life in paris i do a lot of vlogs i do a lot of um, videos about like useful tips about moving to Paris if you're here on this channel because you're planning to move to Paris I have a lot of content about that too so feel free to subscribe and like this video if you feel like doing that it's totally up to you and without any further ado let's start the video <music> So did you know that 16% of tourists coming to Paris actually come here for shopping? Paris is notorious for its shopping streets, designer brands, commercial centers. So it's no big surprise that a lot of people only come here for shopping, to be honest. I constantly see a lot of tourists with big shopping bags on the streets. If you are one of these people who really like to shop and you're planning to come to Paris at some point, or you are an expat yourself and you're already living here and you just wanna expand your knowledge on shopping in Paris, this video is right for you. <laughs> so in this video I want to show you guys some of the best and most popular shopping spots in Paris and I also want to give you guys some tips on how to save money while shopping in Paris. So with that being said, I quickly want to thank today's sponsors which is Vivat. Thank you so much to Vivat who is sponsoring today's video. So Vivat is a new digital tax refund app that makes it easier for tourists coming to Paris to save money on their shopping. So in this video they're going to guide us through some tax refund shopping one-on-one -on -one in France. So the first thing that I want to show you guys in this video is probably the most popular department store in Paris which is obviously Galerie Lafayette. So I'm sure that a lot of you guys have already seen pictures of Galerie Lafayette. It's one of the most beautiful and prestigious department stores, I think, in the whole world. So before we do anything else, I am going to take you guys on a tour. Without any further ado, let's head out and explore. <laughs> My outfit of the day. flagship store Galerie Lafayette Osman is located on Boulevard Osman in the 9th arrondissement of Paris, close to Lafayette Paris metro station. It is a 70 square meter fashion flagship store where you will find more than 3,500 brands from all around the world, from budget-friendly ones to the most luxurious high-end labels. One really cool thing about Galerie Lafayette is that it also has a separate department store where you can do some food tasting with bars offering French food together with international cuisine. I wonder how this night will be The apple does not fall, fall from the tree that I almost died a week ago I lost my will, I thought I let you know The countryside, the water so I wait up here, I just let it know I wait along the corridor Some would say they seen me here before We are back! 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed that little shopping adventure. And now let's talk a little bit about how to actually save money while shopping in France. If you're coming to France, how can you save money with shopping? So let's start with some taxi found knowledge one-on-one -on -one because I think it's something that a lot of people don't really know and I know that a lot of tourists coming here don't really benefit from it and I think it's really like unfortunate that a lot of people who come here and who spend a lot of money don't benefit from it and don't benefit from the fact that they are international tourists. So did you know that whether you're coming to France to visit a family member or a friend as a tourist, you can shop tax-free and depending on the tax refund provider, you can actually get from 8 to 13% off your shopping based on what you buy. But who is actually eligible for tax-free shopping in France, you might ask? First of all, you need to be a leisure traveler whose usual place of residency is a country outside of the EU as I just um, said in the beginning of this video. Moreover you have to be visiting France for less than six months and you have to be over the age of 16 and you also have to be spending more than 100 euros in France. So these are some of the basic criteria and now let's talk about how what we found actually works. <music> So there are actually two ways to get tax refund from shopping in France. One is the traditional in-store tax refund with manual filling and paper refund forms, kind of like the old school way. And the other one is the digitized way with VWAT, the tax refund app, where you do all of this procedure within one application. So I personally recommend you to do tax refund in a digitized way with VWAT because first of all, traveling is already really stressful for a lot of people. Sometimes you have to rush to the airport sometimes you're even late for a flight i personally even missed a flight before i think a lot of times we don't even really think about things like tax refund and filling out tax refund forms to get our money back even though we could with the vivat app since everything is already digitalized you don't need to do any additional paperwork not only it saves you time but also money as if you were to do tax refund in the old school traditional way you would only get back from eight percent to twelve percent from your purchases by doing tax refund with the VWAT app, this percentage actually goes up to 13.39%. And finally, one more really nice thing about the VWAT app is that it actually provides customer service for its users. So if you have any tax refund questions on your trip to France, at least there will be people helping you out and answering your questions, which is a big help considering the fact that a lot of people don't speak English very well in France. <laughs> So some of the items that you can get tax refund on in France are clothes, cosmetics, jewelry, watches and electronics. However, the things you won't get tax refund on in France are things like tobacco, pharmaceuticals, purchases spent on services like car rentals, hotels, restaurants, also the goods that you have already claimed tax refund on, as well as goods that don't include water refund options like the things you buy at duty free, for example. And finally, how to actually use the Viva digital tax refund app to get your money back from shopping. So upon the loading the app and signing up, the first thing you need to do is to actually make sure that you are eligible to claim a battery found based on your country of residence. Furthermore, you also need to make sure that you depart from a VVAT supported exit point like Paris, Charles de Gaulle, and they also have supported exit points in Nice and in Lyon. So if this is all done, the next step is to actually go shopping and request invoices. While you're shopping, you need to make sure that you actually shop for accepted goods that you can claim what we found on later. Also when paying for your items, make sure to show the stuff the request invoice screen on the app so that they can issue you a purchase invoice or as we call it in French, a facture that has to be addressed specifically to Vivat. Also personal advice is to just ask for a traditional facture and avoid saying anything about tax refund as they will end up with shops issue traditional tax refund papers due to their commercial benefits. If you're done with your shopping and if you're done with collecting invoices, the next step is to actually go into the application and upload your invoices in the app by taking a picture of them. So the 
next step is to generate a digital refund form and to verify your identity by taking a photo of your passport and by taking a selfie. And finally, the last thing that you have to do is to, upon leaving the country, you have to bring all of your goods to a VWAT supported departure point, scan the refund barcode at a Pablo kiosk, and just wait for the refund that you will receive within a week of your departure in your selected currency and refund method. A huge thanks again to VWAT for sponsoring today's video. I really hope that I was able to teach you guys something and I really hope that this is something that you will benefit from if you are coming to France as a tourist. Also just please make sure to check out the description box down below as I am going to leave all the useful links and information to Vivat and their website and to the link to download the application so just make sure to have a quick look and happy shopping! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I am going to see you guys next week. Bye! Thank you.